Hey guys, my name is Mike Carleo, and this is part two of my ninth installment of my Guitar Player Backpack. And today, I'm going to be continuing with the modes. We're going to be going over Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. So, let's get right to it. So let's get started with Lydian. Lydian starts on the fourth scale degree, okay? So in G major, we're going to be starting on C, which is in the eighth position. So our fingers are going to, are going to extend from eight to 12, so that five fret ratio. Um, so we're going to go down on C with our first finger, up on D with our second or third finger, and then E with our fourth finger on 12. Next string, we're going to use, we're going to shift our first finger up to nine to play that F sharp. Then our second finger on G on the 10th fret, fourth finger on A on the 12th fret. Then we're going to go on stay with the ninth fret on the next string, which is B, second finger on C, fourth finger on D, first finger on nine, which is the E, third finger on the F sharp, which is on 11, and then we're gonna shift back our first finger to eight, which is G, and you could use your second or third finger on A on the 10th fret, then your fourth finger on 12, which is B, first finger on C, second or third finger on D on the 10th fret, and then you have your fourth finger on E. So we play all of the notes that we can within that five fret radius. So here's the scale or the mode in its entirety. And that's Lydian. Mixolydian is going to start on the fifth scale degree. So in our case in G major, we're going to be starting in the tenth position, which is on D. So we're going to be using across five frets again. And we're going to use our first finger on D on the tenth fret. And then our second or third finger on E, which is 12. And then fourth finger on F sharp, which is on the 14th fret. Then we're going to use our first finger on 10, which is G. Second or third finger, which is on the tw uh, 12th fret of A. Then the 14th fret with our fourth finger on B. Then the 10th fret on the D string, which is C with our first finger. With our third or second finger of D, which is the 12th fret. And then E, which is the 14th fret. Then we're gonna shift our first finger, or we can keep our second finger there on, uh, sorry, 11, which is F sharp, and then 12 for G, which is with our second or third finger, depending if you sh uh, shift or not. Then we move our first finger back to 10 on the B string, which is A, then the 12th fret with our third finger, which is B, then our fourth finger on the 13th fret, which is C, then our first finger on the little E string on D, 10th fret, third or second finger on E on the 12th fret, and then lastly, F sharp on the 14th fret of the little, of the little E string. So uh, here's Mixolydian in its entirety. And that's Mixolydian. Aeolian is going to start on the sixth scale degree, in our case, E in G major. Now this Aeolian mode is exactly the same as your natural minor scale. We know that the natural minor scale starts on the sixth scale degree, whether you're going up six tones or back a minor third of your major scale or your tonic. So this is going to sound exactly like the natural minor scale with a flattened sixth and a flattened seventh and also the flat three. So let's get started in the twelfth position. Our first finger is going to play on twelve, which is E. Then our third finger on F sharp. 14th fret, 4th finger on the 15th fret, which is G. Next string, our first finger is going to be on A on the 12th fret, 3rd finger on the 14th fret of B, 4th finger on the 15th fret of C. Next string, 1st finger on the 12th fret of D, 3rd finger on the 14th fret of E, we're going to reach with our pinky to the 16th fret to grab the F sharp. Then we're back 
to the 12th fret of G with our first finger, then A on the 14th fret with our third finger, right to B on the next string, 12th fret, first finger, second finger on the 13th fret of C, fourth finger on the 15th fret of D, next string E, first finger, 12th fret, F sharp, third finger, 14th fret, and G, fourth finger, 15th fret. There's a lot of uh, Fs in these, uh, these words. So now we're gonna do Aeolian in its entirety. And that's Aeolian. And a little bit of a tip is this is where your minor pentatonic scales actually derive from. It actually derives from Aeolian. So there you go, a little tip. Now let's get to the last mode, Locrian. Locrian is going to start on the seventh and last scale degree. Now in our case in G major, it's gonna be F sharp. And we're gonna be playing this in the 14th position. We're gonna continue the chronological order of the modes that we just did in G, but you can also play this down in the second position. So right before Ionian, because it's the last one. So it goes right into the next one. Um, so we're gonna play our first finger on the 14th fret, second finger on the 15th, third on the 16th, and fourth on the 17th fret. So we only use four frets for this. So I'm only gonna, I'm gonna say finger numbers just like I did with Phrygian. So we use our first finger on F sharp, second finger on G, fourth finger on A, next string, first finger on B, second finger on C, fourth finger on D, next string, first finger on E, third finger on F sharp, fourth finger on G, next string, first finger on A, third finger on B, fourth finger on C, next string, third finger on D, fourth finger on E, and then we move right to the little E string, first finger on F sharp, second finger on G, and fourth finger on A. So we have all of those notes. Now here's Locrian in its entirety. And that's the last and final mode. Any experienced guitar player will know the modes. Now, the modes can be used across all genres, so it's very essential for us to learn. Now, whether you're doing jazz, you can use the modes and all of their chromaticisms over changes. You can also use the modes during a lot of blues changes, and you can do them in gospel and rock and just use them in different ways. Now, the most important thing to know about the modes is how you approach them. So, the way I approached them to teach you today in chronological order was based off of the scale degrees, which is the derivative and original and traditional way to teach them based off of the major scale. But you can also look at them as uh, a pentatonic scale with two added notes. Because we know a pentatonic scale has five notes, and then if you just add two, you have it right there. And then you have pretty much the whole majority of the modes there. So that's a very, very easy way of looking at it as well. So, if you'd like to get to know about me more, you can check me out at my website below, michaelcarleo.com for more information. Thanks for checking out this installment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Easy.